what is up i am brandy lucas and welcome back to my channel so i am going to tackle something that i love to talk about and it is short hair maintenance today i'm going to be sharing some of my favorite products that should be in your arsenal if you are rocking short hair or considering coming over to the side and wearing your hair in a short hair style so if you're looking for that type of insight and information this is the video for you stay tuned Let's get started. I wanna talk a little bit about maintenance and maintaining your short hairstyle. So in my opinion, short hair is by far the simplest way to wear your hair. It's just less hair to deal with. There are some key components, regimens, and products, which I'll be sharing with you here today, that you need to have in your arsenal to make things seamless and easy but it is definitely by far and i've done extensions i've had braids i've had longer hair and for me short hair is absolutely the way to go now there are two type of modes there's a dry mode and a wet mode dry modes are done on your hair when it's dry obviously it's used to pull together your sideburns maybe, or maybe you slept and you wrap your hair up, but you have a dent or a crease in the back of your hair. Dry molding is taking the foam product, applying it to your hair in a small amount, using your comb to smooth any wrinkles or any um, crunchiness from your hair and then tying it down and allowing the hair to dry and be back slick and molded or flat without starting over from an entire wet set. Now wet molding is what you do after a shampoo and conditioning process when you're using the foam product to create the foundation for how you're going to style your hair once it's dry. My absolute favorite foam is right here it is the influence honey almond foam i have used every foam on the market there's one that is very accessible and popular i won't say its name but i'll just say that it's blue so today again i'm going to tackle the products that you need to have a part of your arsenal I'm going to talk in the future with you guys about the regimen. How often should you relax? How often should you be getting your hair cut and trimmed and colored if that's your, if that's a part of your routine? So if you're interested in that information and you have particular questions that you'd like to know about regimen for short hair, don't hesitate to throw them down in the comments below and I'll tackle them in an upcoming video. But today I'm going to touch on the products that I use constantly and I think that you should have if you're maintaining a short hairstyle. So let's kick it off. The first product that you cannot live without if you're rocking your hair short is a quality styling foam. Some call it mousse, some call it foam. It is not mousse. Mousse is a thicker consistency product usually used for curly styles or extensions. Styling foam is the way to go. What you will use styling foam for is to maintain the exterior of your hair in between services as well as molding your hair. And molding is the process of taking your hair from its wet state and forming it around your head in what serves as the foundation for your style. Ooh, Everybody uses it. I used it for quite a while. I no longer use it because there are some components and inconsistencies with the product that I just didn't want to deal with anymore. This Influence Foam is the absolute best that I've used thus far. It gives shine to the hair. It holds on hair that's straight, on hair that's curly, on hair that's a little wavy in need of a relaxer. It holds really well. This is my go-to styling foam. If you are wearing short hair, considering short hair, this is a absolute must-have. This is my foam of choice, but you definitely need a styling foam that's going to not flake, not allow your hair to be super dry or crunchy. You should be able to mold your hair dry it properly and it comes out soft and shiny and you're able to choose whether or not you want to go in and curl your hair with heat or do like i do a lot of the time and just wear your hair cut 
and it's neat and polished and pulled together because it's been properly molded. A little bonus, I know that a lot of people are molding their hair, they're using the proper foam, but they're missing one very important part of the puzzle, and it is these right here. It is wrap strips. There are two different types of strips. Sometimes you'll see strips and they look like they come in the same package in the same style, but there are neck strips and wrap strips. Neck strips are used to put as a barrier in between the cape or um, hair touching the client's skin and the styling cape that you put on. It's a neck strip. Now these are wrap strips. They are specifically designed with a little bit of stretch to place over your head. Once you've molded your hair, they stretch a bit and allow you to reinforce what you've done with the mold. So you've combed the product through your hair, you've formed it to your head. Now these strips are going to give you the tension that's necessary to hold your hair in place where you need it to go. So whatever shape your head is, it's going to contour to the shape of the head and keep the hair placed close to the scalp so that it's going to mold and dry in that position so you don't have a lot of waves, you don't have a lot of um, bumps and all of this just texture in the hair that you don't want. If you're going in and curling the hair, it's really important that you have a very slick, foundation in your mold, then you have to have wrap strips. After you wrap your hair, whether it's dry or wet, one of the next components that you'll want to utilize after you've taken your wrap strips off is a light daily moisturizer. My light daily moisturizer of choice is the Influence Growth Cream. It is an incredibly light, I use it every day, is that light. I can use it excessively without having a buildup or allowing my hair to um, be weighed down and not have any motion. What you want to do is go in and work your moisturizer into your hair. So you want to take a small amount, work it into your hair to add sheen and also to serve as a barrier between the elements and your hair. A lot of times people use way too much product. So whether you're using a cream or a oil-based moisturizer after you've molded your hair, I wanna show you how much you should be using. A fingertips amount. And when you take that fingertip amount out of your container, what you wanna do first is really work the moisturizer into your hands. Now I have the moisturizer all over my hands, all of the crevices, all of the lines. So when I go in and actually work the product into my hair, I'm not putting product right in front of my face where I can see it, which is generally what we do. I'm actually allowing the product to work through my hair. I'm getting what's on the sides of my fingers. I'm getting what's between my fingers and no part of my hair is getting too much product at one time. It's being evenly distributed through my entire head. That's key. My next short hair essential is this baby right here. It is my Influence Thermoseal. Now, Thermoseal is the absolute bomb. In the event that you are not partial to cream-based moisturizers, Thermoseal is an oil-based moisturizer, super light, smells great, but what I love about it is it repels moisture. So if you are prone to your hair reverting or frizz, Thermoseal is the perfect product for you to use after your mold to give your hair that shine that you can get from the cream moisturizer, but it's also going to help to repel moisture and keep your hair from reverting or frizzing quickly. Thermoseal, right? So the seal part of this oil-based hairdress is going to serve as a barrier if you are heat styling your hair. Far too often, people have the tendency to mold their hair, they got their irons plugged up the whole time that they're drying their hair as they're going in and heat styling their hair with no barrier on their hair. All of these products that I've shared with you after the setting foam 
is used as a barrier to protect your hair. So they're either protecting your hair from the elements or they're protecting your hair from whatever style regimen may come forward. If you are a sweater, you want to make sure that there is a barrier on your hair and you would opt for something like Thermoseal because it's going to repel the moisture that your scalp produces when you break out into a sweat. Now applying Thermoseal or whatever your oil-based moisturizer by choice is, is the same rules that I shared with you with the cream-based moisturizer. You want to use a fingertips amount always start with little you can always add more if you need to and what you want to do is really work the product into your hands it's getting in the crevices it's getting in your palms so that when you use your hands to go in and work the product through your hair you're not putting an excessive amount of product in one spot you're evenly distributing the product through your hair got another product for you that is a short hair maintenance must-have and it is a shine spray so if you're using properly using your oil-based moisturizer or your cream-based moisturizer after you've molded your hair you won't need to spray a sheen spray on your hair very often but i do want to cover sheen sprays because some people don't maintain their hair in regards to shampooing and going through the full process at home so you guys may be looking for what product can i use at home that's going to help to maintain my hair even if i don't want to shampoo it i've been into the salon my hair is curled the way I like it what do I need to use on it daily to give myself a radiant sheen and polish this is the product this is a light shine spray by influence also and it's called the s3 spray absolutely bomb it is a light emphasis on light sheen spray sprays out just like oil light gloss it smells incredible it's awesome for both men and women if you have a young man in your household i am a huge proponent of may have a young man who's wearing uh the twisted kind of messy look or the sponge look make sure that they have a hairdress as well as a sheen spray to bring that hair alive and make it look healthy and clean and finally i want to talk to you about how to maintain your hair while you're sleeping so if you're rocking a short hairstyle, we already talked a little bit about how the sides in the back generally are the shortest part of your look. So I am a huge proponent of wearing a mesh wrap. Mesh wraps look just like this. You've probably seen them in your local beauty supply. There are a vast array of independent people who on social media are creating mesh wraps. Well, their own hair wraps. I won't say mesh wraps because I got a hair wrap that I absolutely love. I will show you guys. I'll share it in the comments below. If you're looking for a hand-sewn, um, not mesh in texture, but a silky texture, like a silk wrap for your hair that still has the structure of a mesh wrap. And the structure, by structure, I mean, it goes around the sides and back of your head like the lady shown in this picture and it just closes right at the front of your head with velcro i had a lady who sent me one that i absolutely love 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 and it's a more of a silky texture so i'll share that in the comments below but whatever you use you need something that's going to fasten around the sides and back of your hair without covering the top of your hair I am not a advocate for putting a scarf or a bonnet on your short hairstyle. It will just manipulate your hair and curls and mush it sometimes in a way that is making it more work for you on the next day. So I am all about teaching my guests how to maintain their hair in a way that will get them in and out of the house in little to no time. And in the event that you wake up and your hair is not exactly how you want it, I also like to make sure that people have the tools and the products to pull their look together easily. And a mesh wrap generally does that. I also personally and suggest for my guests to wear their mesh wrap, a separate one, not the same one you're sleeping in, when you work out. 
because what you're doing is wearing this around the exterior of your hair and I have a whole video about how to prepare your short hairstyle for a workout I'll link it up here but what you want to do is maintain the structure of your hair laying as flat to your head as you can even during your workout it may get wet but you want to make sure that you're keeping that structure so that the hair dries in place So we talked about our styling foam. We talked about our cream hairdress, which is my hair cream hairdress of choice is the Influence Growth Cream. We talked about Thermoseal, which helps to repel moisture if you're sweating, if you need sheen to your hair, and you are not partial to a cream-based moisturizer, then you would go with something oil-based. My product of choice is Thermoseal by Influence. We also talked about a light shine spray, oil shine, and not an oil sheen coming from the aerosol can is preferably is my personal preference. And we also talked about your nighttime hair routine, which is wearing a mesh wrap or some type of covering around the exterior of your hair on the sides and back. So I hope that these tips and these product suggestions have been useful for you learning how to maintain your hair at home. Again, I want to hear any questions that you may have about the products I shared today, as well as any short hair regimen questions that you may have. Please throw them down in the comments because I want to make sure that I do another video where I'm showing you step-by-step -step processes, but I want to know what you guys want to know. So again, if, if you're interested in any of the products I shared today, I'm going to list each and every one of them in the description below with a link for you to purchase. Influence is a salon level product line, so you can only buy the product from a retailer, a salon, or their distributors. So I'm gonna hook y'all up and give you a link if you're interested in any of the products. You can just click the link below. If you are not already following me here, please do like I'm dropping gems. You got to know that you got some stuff out of this video. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure that you hit the bell. So you'll know when I upload new videos. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, I want you to do that too, because I love Instagram and you can see a little bit more of the short hairstyle life there on my page. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch up with you on the next video.